I think we're not moving toward globalization. We're in the middle of it. Uh, how long it has to run and what will replace it, uh, no one knows at this point. But my guess is that it will, uh, that this globalization uh, that we're seeing now, this shifting of jobs around the world, uh, depending on costs and so on, is probably going to be with us for several decades. Globalization is, is simply the latest development uh, in the changes that have taken place as a result of technology and science uh, throughout the whole of human history. We started as uh, hunters and gatherers and then we became an agricultural uh, race. We, began, we then, uh, in the 19th century, had the Industrial Revolution where, where individual craftsmen were replaced by mass production. Uh, then we had the Technology Revolution in the 1950s and 60s and 70s and the Information Revolution in the 70s, 80s and 90s. Each of these, in its own way, took advantage of faster communications, more sophisticated communications, and uh, the evolution of technology uh, that was available at the time. I think that the process has been accelerated uh, dramatically by really uh, three uh, events overseas. The first uh, was uh, the coming to power after the death of Mao Zedong of Deng Xiaoping in China and his approach to reform, uh, to economic reform in China that began to open China up to foreign investment in a significant way. And uh, even a few years ago, uh, foreign and direct investment in China was 40, 50, 60 billion dollars a year. Uh, as foreign companies invested in China in manufacturing capabilities and so on. The second thing that happened then was, uh, and they, the second and third things happened almost simultaneously. The first was the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 and the opening up of Russia uh, in terms of building plants and that, things like that. And also the reform program of Prime Minister Rao in India, uh, that India had had a very socialist oriented uh, economy, a very heavy role of the government bureaucracy. And so if you take all three of these developments that happened within a 15 year period of one another, and then everything that's happened in the past 15 years since then, uh, that really I think has been, uh, have been the developments that have accelerated globalization in a dramatic way around the world and basically uh, doubled the workforce of people who are, who are productively manufacturing. The reality is uh, there are people, uh, individuals who are hurt by this. Uh, when your manufacturing plant in North Carolina is shut down and reopens in China, jobs are lost in North Carolina or in other states. And so as we proceed to create new industries and new jobs associated with those industries, we have to make sure that uh, we do what we can to minimize the, uh, the social and the human cost of, uh, in this country of globalization uh, by trying to spread its benefits as widely as possible.